Hi everyone, I'm Miss Jen and it's week eight of unboxing the books in the library. Cannot believe that it's been two months that we've been doing this. It's really one of my favorite activities in the library to do. So we are going to get started with our unboxing the books. Oh my goodness, this first one, Go Goats, True Tales of Rescue by Kama Einhorn. I mean, have you ever seen a cuter little animal? She is, um, this goat is named Lu Lucia. She's the oldest goat at the Catskill Animal Sanctuary in upstate New York, in the Catskills. And she's one of hundreds of rescued far farm animals living on her days in upstate New York. So I just think that this is so great. It has so much information about goats and about her and how they are saving them and letting them really live out their days in the sanctuary. Um, you know, I know that they have elephant sanctuaries, they have all different sanctuaries for different animals, but this one is so cool because it's not, it's like three hours away from us. So come and check out this and read all about Lucia, the oldest goat at the Animal Catskill Sanctuary. So there's that one. Oh, we seem to be on an animal. Uh, look at this one. Remember guys, we show, oh actually no, we didn't show this one. This is another new um, series, Animals of the Arctic. I thought that we had showed this series before, but we didn't. But this is about the Arctic Fox. They're so beautiful. Probably eat your face, but they're so beautiful. So if you're interested in the Arctic Fox, come get that. If you like puppies, come learn all about Yorkies. Um, this is another new series that we have, Top Puppies. Ew. So, I feel like this book is going to be very adorable, but it's about a cockroach. It's called The Cockroach. And it says, well, hello. This is a disgusting critter series, which is hilarious. Um, and I know that, like, cockroaches have been around since, like, the beginning of time. So, this one is named Diane. If you want to find about find out all about cockroaches in a funny cute illustrated book definitely come and check this out because even though cockroaches creep me out to like no ugh, gross this is super cute i think i'm gonna read this myself so come check this out and if you love beavers and you love to find out all the things that they do come and check this book out the Superpower Field Guide of Beavers. 96 pages of gobsmacking facts, illustrations. Super cute. Come get this. Next up, we have some chapter books. Get a Grip, Vivi Cohen. Summer in the City by Fracaswell Hyman. It's a mango delight story. This is actually the first in the series. This is first, and then it says on the back, um, also available mango delight. Or maybe Mango Delight is first, and this is second. Yep, I think that's I think that's how it goes. And Camp Average Double Foul by Greg Craig Battle. So these are our new chapter books. And then we have our picture books, which you know are my favorite. So this is My Maddie by Gail E. Pittman, illustrated by Violet Tobacco. And it says, most mommies are girls, most daddies are boys, but lots of parents are neither a boy nor a girl, like my Maddie. My Maddie has hazel eyes, which are not brown or green, and my Maddie likes sporks because they are not quite a spoon or a fork. Some of the best things in the world are not one thing or the other. They are something in between and entirely their own. Sounds like a beautiful story. Definitely come and check this out. A Space for Me by Catherine Falwell. I loved this book because as the oldest child of four, I shared I shared a room with my sisters, not my brother, but my sisters since my sister Becky came along two years after me. And it was always hard not having my own space, but this is about Lucas and Alex. Um, Alex is the middle child and he doesn't get his own room. He shares with his little brother Lucas. And Lucas just wants everything that Lucas has. Uh, Lucas just wants everything that Alex has. And so he decides, Alex decides to make an outdoor space for himself. And then he just needs like some time to imagine and breathe and relax. 
And then he notices that Lucas is in the window looking at him and he looks really sad. And he can't imagine why Lucas is sad because now he has the room to himself. But it's a very, very sweet story about siblings and getting along and finding your own space when you don't have your own room. So come and get that. Pinky Crashes the Party by Michael Portis, illustrated by Lori Richmond. This was hilarious. This little girl, Penny, she's having her birthday party. She wants to invite um, Pinky the Flamingo. Pinky the Flamingo lives at the zoo. Meanwhile, it starts off with missing Flamingo at the zoo, and it ends up that little Miss Pinky decides to crash the party. All Penny wants is for Pinky to be invited to the party, and her mom's like, no, she lives in the zoo. You can't. But lo and behold, there's Pinky. And this story is so cute because Pinky shows up in all the adventures that they go on prior to the party, leading up to the party and the actual party, and then you'll read it. And it's just, it's so super cute. Definitely get this one. Last but not least, Cat Tricks um, by Satoshi Kitamura, Abracadabra, Kata Kariko. What's in the hat? This is adorable. This is one magical hat for sure. This little rabbit pulls so many animals out of a hat. I'm talking about a moose, an octopus, a squirrel, an elephant. I mean, can you even believe it? And it's just a cat. Well, the cat comes first, then the squirrel, then the moose, then the octopus, or the octopus, then the moose, then the elephant. I love elephants, but they cannot fit in the hat. So it's totally magical. And you'll have to read to find out what happens at the end. So definitely come in and get that not come in definitely call us for your telephone reserve guys do grab bags let us know what you're reading let us know what you want to read what you love what you don't love if you've been checking out these books um and getting grab bags or getting any of these let us know what you think of them we are working on a lot of fun changes in the children's room right now and by the time you guys get to come back it's gonna look like a brand new spot so it's been great talking to you. I will see you next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and enjoy Labor Day because before we know it, it's going to be back to school. Happy end of summer, friends.